Hello from Andy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on the 36X Spring Creek map and welcome to the uh, the big one, shall we call it. I wonder, we are harvesting the, the section here probably for the next uh, couple episodes here, possibly. And we'll see once how this ends up here. Uh, you know, according to course play, we got uh, 8 hours and 21 minutes to go here. Um, we are, I think we're about 2, no 3, 2 or 3 hours into this so far. Ooh, what, what are you doing there? Um, auto drive. No idea. Well, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you didn't see last episode of it, we started harvesting the section. Again, the section here is fields 289, 290, 291. Uh, this field is one square mile, so one mile this way. Well, you know, if you're up in the corner of the field, right? And then one mile this way. So, we are working one mile long rows here, everyone. And yeah, auto drive is having uh, you know lots of uh, lots of fun with this from the uh, looks of it. I'm not entirely sure what auto oh it's trying to unload on the go, isn't it? Which oh, it's actually being successful with, by the way. Um, so yes, I, I'm definitely okay with this seven. That should help us uh, speed up harvest at least if auto drive can successfully do it. Which what, what he's trying to do here? The combine is like empty. No idea. It's like he tries to turn away, but then he doesn't turn away or something. I. I I'm not entirely sure what's uh, going on here, everyone. Um, one thing that was suggested to me here, and I forget, was this course player auto drive? Someone suggested uh, turning up the backup speed here. Like I said, I forget if that was course player auto drive. Because I don't think you can change the speeds with uh, auto drive. Can you? Hmm, that is a good question. Speaking of settings here, by the way, uh, are we allowed to drive on crop? We should be, I'm pretty sure. And then also, actually, is that under the main? I'm going to be under the main one here. Unload position. Yeah, that's fine. Don't want to make tip side. Park at job finished, huh? I think that only works if you actually have, a, like, a parking spot for this, which I don't have. Stored. Yeah, I don't have that dust set for this uh, vehicle parking field. Avoid fruit. No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, restrict unloader to the field. It'll also no. Restrict pathfinder to field. No. Uh, field exit. Uh, no idea what that is. Anyway. Okay, I think we're good. I'll leave uh, auto drive to here. Now, speaking of auto drive, everyone, uh, you might notice there is only one grain cart driver here at the moment. Uh, yes, there is a reason for that. The other grain cart driver is up here and is, uh, well, being your typical, in my experience, auto drive. Driver cannot calculate path. Any of you folks out there know how to solve this problem, but yeah, greatly appreciate it because this is definitely one of the other annoying problems here uh, with auto drive that clearly has not been fixed yet. Uh, auto drive cannot calculate a path. Now, don't ask me why. I have no idea why auto drive can't calculate a path. Because, like, I'm, I'm you know, a blind person could uh, find a path over here practically. I mean, that's, that's like, what in the world? Come on. What, what, what's wrong with you here, auto drive? You're allowed to drive on the crops if you want to. Like, at least it should be anyway. Let me double check that setting here. Pretty sure I got these set both the same here at this point. So, you should be... Avoid fruit? Yeah, no. So he, he doesn't have to avoid fruit. He also... Check the other settings here, too. He can, like... Yeah, restrict download of the field? Nope. Restrict pathfinder? Nope. So he can, like, drive down the road if he has to. I just, yeah. So, yeah. If any of you folks know how to fix that, let me know. I don't know. Maybe I got something wrong somewhere, or... Just typical auto-drive, at least in my experience, have one. Again, our unloaders are over here, so yeah, we're going to have to uh, drive over here. Had the same problem with the other tractor as well. When the other tractor apparently filled up a little bit quicker, he was over here somewhere. Literally had to drive, auto drive all the way around. Yeah, no, no, yes, Evan, I did take the road. I, I don't typically drive on crops if I don't have to, Evan. So I took the road all the way around, all the way across. And finally, once I was like five feet from the mother bin here, then auto drive's like, oh, yeah, okay, I can find the rest of the way. It's like, really? Really. So, slightly annoying. Because, I mean, like, if we got to sit here fix an auto drive every single time and it's halfway across the field, like, this harvest is going to take forever and never going to get finished, everyone. Yeah, this is the point where I should be able to start auto drive back up. Oh, really? Cannot calculate a path. It's literally probably right in front of us. So, yeah, I don't know. If you folks have any ideas either what's wrong or what I am doing wrong, let me know. Because it would be nice if we could fix this issue. This would definitely help a lot. You know, I'll drive. Cannot find a path. Literally the closest waypoint right to, 
What? What do you mean you can't find a path? I do have this, like, all connected here, right? Like, it's not... It looks like it's okay to me. I'm, I'm not seeing anything, like, standing out as... This looks wrong from what I can tell. Yeah, I don't want to start him at this point. Here, we'll, uh, we'll go back around here. Oh, this... What? You still can't find... Oh, my goodness. Like, we're right on the route here, bud. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, at least with the other track, I'm like once I got like when we first tried like over here somewhere. Actually, you know what? I think is that probably I wonder if those are my tracks from my other one. I was probably right there. That's uh, probably where I was somewhere in there. Turned them on and like, oh, yep. Yeah, okay. I'm good. This one here. Wow. A bunch. Just like, wow. Oh wait, I don't have this connected. Oh, well, okay. That might've been a problem here. one. thought it was connected. There we go. Okay, so that was the problem where we weren't able to start over here. That doesn't explain why we weren't able to start over here, though. Like, that shouldn't have mattered. It's going to unload, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see what's here. Where's the other truck at, I wonder? Oh, that's right. I was going to drive this with just one truck, wasn't I? I think that was my plan. Let's, uh... Turn you on. I think you're all set, right? 290 cell point wheat. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it shouldn't really. Um, you actually don't have. Well, okay, fine. I guess you can go to the cell point. Whatever. Doesn't really actually have to do that, but um, regardless, I guess if that's what he wants to. You must have been a little bit too far forward, Evan. So he wanted to uh, go to the cell point there, and he'll come back around. I guess it doesn't uh, super particularly matter as long as he can make the trip. Uh, again, we got this uh, set up here with the uh, mother bin. We'll see once how that goes. I mean, I think with this uh, field, this should work out uh, quite nicely. As I've uh, said before, I mean, the kind of the purpose of a mother bin here is uh, basically a buffer tank between your grain carts and your trucks. That way, you know, the mother bin now has ample space to hold whatever's in the grain cart, at least uh, assuming the trucks are keeping up with unloading anyway. So you can just straight unload into this. Now, if I was to unload this uh, particular grain cart into the trucks, I mean, it would probably take two trucks to unload it because... 2,000 bushel, Evan. Your typical trucks hold about 1,000, right? Give or take a little bit. So, yes, you'd have to unload into one truck, fill one truck, stop, wait for the next, or either drive to the next truck either way, right? Either the truck's moving or the grain cart's moving, whichever one. And you have to then move to the next uh, truck or the next truck moves to you, start unloading, finish unloading in that one. And, and of course, I mean, that's assuming that you started with two empty trucks, right? What, what if you uh, started with, you know, a half full one, now you're... Okay, you filled up the half on that truck. Now you go fill up completely on the next truck. And then you got to fill up a third truck yet. Like, oh my goodness. So I can definitely see the uh, the benefits here of having the mother bin like this. Now, with that being said, at least around where I live, everyone, I have never seen anything like this being used before. Definitely not a common piece of hardware around here. Um, and I'm not even aware of really any use of this in the U.S. that I know of. I'm sure there probably is somewhere. If you folks happen to know, let me know. But... Uh, like I said, I have never personally seen anything like this uh, used. From my understanding, this is more of a down-under use, I guess you could say. That's where it typically gets used. And by down-under, I mean Australia, of course. Australia, not Austria. <laughs> so I'll get the right to Australia there, right? Okay. That uh, that driver's back on, which it looks like is good, because this one here is probably full again. Looks it looks like he is making his way back up here. That is good. I was a little concerned about that, because like, oh, boy. We're going to be, like, having to constantly babysit auto-drive. I mean, like, a little course play. <laughs> We're going to bring course play back. But, uh, you know, again, the, kind of the reason why I switched to course play here a while back, I mean, like, yeah, auto-drive, just too derpy. Too derpy. Course play was much better. But, uh, again, course play is still pretty derpy, too. So, so far, we're looking pretty good here, though. Uh, once we finish the headlands, by the way, with the size of the field, I'm seriously considering about adding some additional combines to this uh, operation here. Probably would have to add an additional grain cart or two as well. We'll have to see once all that goes. And then we'll have to try and find some tractors to pull said grain carts with. Maybe I'll have to remove some tires or something because, uh, yeah, I don't really want to be pulling uh, grain carts with a tractor like this. Oven. Nothing wrong with a tractor per se. I mean, other than maybe the fact that it's blue. That's obviously a, obviously a problem there, but... 
Uh, the width of the tractor one, we're already having problems unloading these. Uh, actually, no, never mind. These are John Deere combines. Probably won't be a problem. Hmm. Notice we're running the 50 foot head on these combines, Evan. Like, auto drives unloading them just fine. So, I was going to say, if we're running the new Holland combines, that might be a problem. But I might be able to get away with uh, duels on the tractors with these combines, maybe. Although, if folks seen earlier, that uh, track tractor was getting a little close to this combine head. <laughs> At least, in my opinion, for comfort, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Combine's out of stop again. Like I said, Evan. Getting the combine here. We got that 8 hours and 16 minutes remaining. That's only good if that combine stays moving constantly. Well, that being said, it'll be uh, impressive, everyone, if we can finish this harvest quicker than we can finish field 383. And uh, I don't know. I've got a suspicion we might be able to do it, everyone. We might just be able to do it here. We'll have to see once how this goes. Again, if auto drive can keep up, I think we can get it done. Okay, with that being said, let's go grab some more combines. And uh, by combines, we've only got two other combines. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, what you going to do, right? Now we'll grab the 41-foot uh, uh, Draper heads here, by the way. Again, we're only running 41-foot. Um, my plan, by the way, actually, no, I say two combines. Maybe I should just start with one. Because how am I going to get two combines going here? My plan, uh, for those of you wondering, is just use a hired worker on this. Uh, again, auto drive will unload hired workers, Evan. So, if I use a hired worker with this, and I'm thinking I'm going to start them on the opposite side of the field as to what uh, course play is on. At least that's my uh, thoughts, anyway. Maybe I should like, set up an auto drive route over on the other side of the field so I can just have like a dedicated unloading tractor specifically for this combine. I'll have to see once that one. Also, that truck's not back. Is that truck stuck somewhere? He's over here. What is he over here for? Yeah, definitely don't appear to be stuck there, bud. Yeah, that, that's nice. Now, go. Hmm. That was weird. Yeah, we are just harvesting soybeans, Evan, so... Yeah, depending on how the harvest goes here, we might not even need a second truck here for this with that uh, mother bin there, Evan. Now, again, if I didn't have the mother bin, Evan, I would definitely be running uh, two trucks. No doubt about that. Maybe even three trucks here with this uh, field. Not too far from the cell point there, either. You know, again, we're just going from there to literally here with the cell, so... And yes, Evan, I know we are straight up selling our crops here again. That is definitely not the way to make the most money, but and I'm not too concerned about the money situation on this map, Evan. We are making plenty of money. We're spending it pretty good, though, too, I guess. I mean, we got a $4 million loan. We're down to... What are we down to? Oh, actually, wow, we've paid off a fair amount of this loan. We're down to $1.6 million on that one. 900 and 900 on that one. We're paying off... I'm not sure what I put the... I got 48 months. Okay, I must have done a really short term on that $2 million loan, didn't I? Yeah, figured I could pay it off pretty quick. Again, I think we can, so. Oh, I'll give you folks an idea how large this uh, field is here. We're driving to the opposite corner of this field, Evan. Again, mile long, Evan. One mile long, right? You know, while we're driving down there, we're just going to make the... Uh, executive decision here and buy another grain cart, I think. Uh, let's see. Auger wagons. Which one do I have? Is it that one? Yes. We're just going to get another one of the same here. 2,000 bushel. Main color. Sure. Uh, like I said, I'll just have to figure out what tractor we're going to put that on. Uh, maybe just take some duels off one of the other tractors. We'll see once here. Don't mind me. Still driving. And still driving. Yep. While we're driving over to the other end of the field, everyone, if you haven't already clicked that uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And of course, if you like the video, well, you know what to do. Give her the old uh, thumbs up there. 
And if you'd like to uh, join us in on the, the R.D. Allen multiplayer service, you can find that information down below in the uh, description there. Uh, again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. And I just looked down at the uh, number of acres this combine has done. Oh, my goodness. You folks see that uh, number down there below the... Well, I guess it's technically in the uh, speedometer there. Wow, 705 acres on this combine. I'm mean, 705 acres. Now, mind you, once we're done with this field, I mean, this should be roughly 640 acres on this field here. It's probably a little bit less because, you know, we got grass and stuff around the edge. And I'm not 100% sure if this is an exact mile here. Don't know, but... Yeah, suffice to say, I mean, wow, 705 acres. A little bit insane. Okay, let's get some uh, GPS going here. We'll uh, straighten out the edge of this field here. Zero degrees. Auto with that. Moment on the combine. You know what? Before we get uh, started too much here, might as well get a grain cart here. We're going to need it sooner rather than later. Oh, what else do I have for tractors? Hmm. Go watch that. He's closing the... Why are you not unloading? Oh, I know why. This tractor's not on. Aha. We'll see if that actually stays running or not, everyone. Okay, speaking of tractors here, what do I got? Um, got the big dually there. Do I have any other narrower tractors that are actually, like, large? Like, I'm talking, like, T8 or T9s here. I got some T8s. Both of these are going to have duels all the way around, though. There's the triple one. That one should probably finish its job. Okay, so I'm thinking probably the dually... Might be the best choice here in this case, Evan. We'll just uh, take the duels off. I know, it's just not going to look right that way, is it? It'll be terrible. I if this is the in-game tractor or modded one. Don't remember. Well, let's see. Let's customize that. Yeah, that just looks nasty, don't it? Wow. At least we'll do wide tires of weights. How about that one? Still looks like uh, crap, doesn't it? Yeah, that that, that just does not look right. Owen. Does not look right. Nope, don't like it one little bit. Not one little bit. Yeah, pretty sure I don't dare uh, try getting away with duels on this. At least not this one, anyway, Evan. I think the, uh, the duels on this tractor probably actually are almost wider than the triples on the other tractor. I mean, you think the triples would be wider, but, you know, they're just little narrow, skinny triples, right? As opposed to the big, fat, wide duels on this one. Okay, let's uh, see what's here. We need to set up auto drive here. We need to set you to combine mode. So field 290 tractor weight, field 290 unload. There we go. Turn you on. Waiting for call. Good. It's not going anywhere yet. That's actually kind of surprising. Okay. Back to uh, back to the work myself here. Actually, you know what? Auto drive is complete. Is uh, okay. Auto drive is actually doing another headland, isn't it? Okay. Well. Hmm. Are you not locked on? No, you're not. Back on GPS. Say technically what I'm doing here, I'm mean, it's kind of a waste of time here at the moment. I thought auto, or sorry, not auto drive. Of course, they was done with the headlands, but apparently I uh, set it for uh, two headlands, didn't I? Total of four, by the way, if you add up the fact that we're running two combines on two headlands, right? See where the other uh, combine is at down there. I mean, can't see the combine, but you can see where the combine is harvested. And now, oh, is he still moving? Uh, yes, he is. Yes, that combine is actually moving. I couldn't quite tell on here. I'm like, oh, wait, I see tires. I see a combine head. Oh, there's a combine and a tractor and a grain cart. There it is, I mean, It just appeared. I can see them. Reminder, by the way, too, Evan, if you'd like to uh, check this uh, map out here, I do have a link down below in the uh, description here. 
Uh, reminder again, it is a PC only map and it is 36 times bigger than your standard map. So for those of you who maybe never played on anything bigger than a standard map, I don't know if I would start with this map. Maybe, maybe try a 4X first, Evan, before you uh, go up to like the 36X here. Uh, yeah, again, we are just farming like a small section of the map here. Um, technically, we're not even farming all of this because we've got like large grass spots here, but like we'll, we'll just call it like uh, three square miles. We're farming here at this point, Evan. Yeah, so not, and yeah, figuring all the empty spots here. We're, we'll call this one 640. If we make another six, we're probably, what, 1,500, 2,000 acres? Well, it won't even be 2,000. Somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 acres we're maybe farming. Maybe. Yeah, because we've got all this empty spot here. Yeah, it might be somewhere in 1,500 acres or so, but we're probably farming at this point. Yeah, like I said, I mean, this is why I kind of uh, doing this was a bit of a waste of time here because this combine is just going to come up here and uh, harvest this as well. I was going to try to uh, straighten out the edge of this field, Evan, but kind of need to wait for auto drive and uh, course play to finish this part here to straighten it. Well, I guess if I, at least if I do harvest them, that's all the last uh, for the other combine to harvest, which that means that's the last emptying. So in theory, that should keep course by going a little bit quicker. Maybe I don't know. Seems logical to me. Maybe not. Oh, we got all three grain carts here. Cool. And when I say here, I mean there's two here, and then there's one down here yet. Still not sure what the auto drive is attempting to do there. It keeps like, like it wants to pull away, but then it stays there. No idea. It's a bit of a new, uh, new one to me. I don't know that I've seen the uh, auto drive do that. And, but, and, and I say I haven't seen auto drive do that before. That's probably because up until now, I really haven't seen auto drive unload on the go before either. So that is a little bit of a new experience here. I wonder if there are some of these new Holland combines too, because. I didn't see Auto Drive ever try to unload these New Holland Combines on the go. That's not a... Is that a Combine setting? It's not on the Combine, is it? Active unload... Well, okay. Even if... Yes, it is on the Combine. And it is set to yes, so... Okay, well, anyway. With that being said, let's all go head over to the uh, comment section here in a moment. See what you folks had to say here for last episode. Starting off with the first one from Farmer Varmox. Uh, amazing videos. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Norton was saying, I think eight hours will turn into 16 hours. Probably. That would be my guess as well. That's what I've always said of one. Uh, when it comes to harvesting, whatever time course play says it's going to take, just double that. Although the last field of them, we almost had to triple that. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Hopefully we don't have to triple this number. That'll be like 30 hours. Uh, Sam was saying, uh, it worked to restore my save game. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you very much for that uh, comment as well. I know I mentioned this a lot of them, but I, th I think it's worth mentioning here just because, again, Giants Farming Simulator does not advertise this feature, and it's uh, surprising to me uh, the number of folks that don't know this feature exists. But for those of you who don't, Farming Simulator, the game, automatically backs up your save game. Which, I mean, let's face it, I, mean, uh, I think probably most of us have probably had something go wrong with our save game at some point, right? I, I know I have. Happens uh, a little bit more frequently than I would like it to, but things happen. And fortunately, Farming Simulator has an automatic save game backup. And I say automatic because it automatically happens. Like, you don't have to do anything. And it, uh, I'm not exactly sure how often it happens, Evan, but... In theory, at most, you'd probably only lose like 15 minutes worth of work if your game crashed, burned, and your save game was deleted or disappeared somehow. Go in, restore your save game back up, and like I said, at most, you probably lo lose 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Depends what you have your auto save set to, I guess, I suppose, as well. So, at least I'm assuming that's partly what it's based on. And, and of course, too... With Farming Simulator, it automatically backs up more than just one copy of I mean, it. It backs up, I think it's like 10 or so, something like that. 
and each one is a little bit older than the previous you know so like day one you might end up with you know a couple backups you go back two days now you only got maybe two you go back three days there's maybe one you go back 10 days there's one you go back 15 days you know, that type of thing right that one so you know day before when you're probably gonna have quite a few backups the older you get the fewer backups there are Uh, Hatcho saying good video. And yeah, I wonder why the raise lower late or early is reversed on course play. Yeah, I don't know. I keep saying the same thing, Evan. It just seems like those settings are completely backwards to me. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a global setting. You have to set it per piece of equipment, which is kind of annoying. And Hatcho also says, I think it'll take 17 hours to complete. Ah, so we got a 16 hour guess. We got a 17 hour guess. I I'm probably in that 16 hour guess, to be honest. Oh, maybe I should jump it up 17. I don't know. Well, I'm going to stick with it around the 16 hours. Uh, Christopher was saying, good, or keep it up. Good video. Hey, thank you very much for that. Oh, there's the other combine. Oh, you remember what I said last harvest, Evan, when we were harvesting field 383? Typically, in my experience, Evan, usually those combines get further and further apart, or at least at some point, something happens. You know, one combine just doesn't get unloaded or something. You know, something happens, right? And they're usually not close to each other. Well, that never happened on the last field, Evan. Field 383, when we were harvesting that field, those combines were pretty much neck and neck the entire harvest, which I... It was kind of weird to me, Evan, because, again, usually, at some point, they get further and further apart for some reason. So, you know what? Let's put the pipe on here, see if we can get unloaded. We're 70, no, almost 70%. Got two grain cars just sitting right here. Apparently, emphasis on the sitting part. I wonder if the other one's going to come unload us, which is that one down there. Or I guess uh, none of them could unload us, too. I mean, that, that's also a possibility I had not considered. Ew, grain carts. I think one of them would move. I don't think that one down there is moving, from what I can tell. Well, off to a great start here, one. Not really, by the way. Um, anyway, next comment here from Mason Farms. Uh, he was saying that is one mean-looking combine. Check out the uh, cab view in the X9. I made it pretty cool. Also says hit the left, control and F while you're running the combine. See what happens. He says, I'm guessing around 19 hours according to the math. Oh, so you think it's going to take 19 hours to harvest. Okay, he says I need to. That's right. I forgot to check that. Uh, cab view. Oh, uh, we'll just go down to this one here. Sure, why not? Got the nice uh, RDL and flag flying in the back there. I think that looks pretty good if you ask me of one. Nah, there's a GoPro up there. That's recording me. Actually, yeah. No one GoPro, I've on. it's probably already faulted out by now, and there's no way it's recording me anymore. There's <laughs> garbage cameras. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I'm sure it's probably already broken. Okay, oh, and he says Control F, huh? What does what left Control F do? And that lights. No idea what that does. I don't think I see anything change. Maybe I can't have it on course. Maybe I've actually got to be like driving it. That could be. Uh, in that case, let's go. Uh, let's just try this combine here. We'll just stop this one here a minute. Do control F. Ah, uh, okay. That's right. Yeah. I was going to say control F. That's the lighting. Oh, I like that. Well, let's stay on though. Oh, nah, of course not. Oh, well, poop. That's kind of a bummer, Evan. Okay, I like what you did there, Mason Farms. Um, Mason Farms, uh, we have him uh, custom harvesting this here for us, by the way. That's the uh, what we're going... What happened here? Oh, this is my combine run. Okay. Why is there a combine over here? Oh, where did the grain carts go? They both disappeared. None of them are unloaded. I got three grain carts on the field. You think I could, could get unloaded? No, of course not.
Okay, well, anyway, Evan, looking at the time here, looks like it is unfortunately time to wrap it up here for this episode. So uh, we'll uh, continue working on harvest here. And we'll come back next episode. Hopefully this harvest won't take as long as the last one did on Field 383. On that one, uh, that one was a little brutal there, if you ask me. But we'll see once how long this takes, Evan. I'm hoping for the 16 hours. That would be, uh, that'd be a good time there, if you ask me. Anyway, again, thanks for watching, Evan. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. Until next time.